What is up, people of Earth and beyond, case owners here. Today, we have a brand new Madden Online gameplay commentary for you. Today, I am using the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the New York Jets. Now, to celebrate opening week, um, uh, kicking off the football season, uh, let's uh, let's upload a online rank match. Um, I actually did go to the Jets game today. Um, I went, and it was a very, very good game. As you guys, I don't know if you guys have been watching the scoreboard or anything, but the Jets did win 19-14. So, in celebration of going to a game, a football starting again, uh, I picked this gameplay because um, even though I'm not playing with the Jets, it's still technically a Jets gameplay since uh, my opponent is using them, but I am using the Jaguars for one reason. I want to try out Blake Bortles. I, um, I'm a big fan of him. Um, I like how he plays. I like um, how he did in college. I like him a lot. So um, I, I knew right away when Madden 15 uh, came out that he was going to be one of the guys I wanted to use. This is actually my third online rank game. Um, I played uh, the Browns one, um, the Broncos one, and this one. Back, 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 to back. And I'm just uploading this one now. But um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this week's uh, games of football. Um, unfortunately, my uh, my beloved Redskins, they did lose 17-6 uh, against the Texans. So that was a heartbreaker. I really wanted to start off the season on a good note. But, um, you know, half the teams wins, half the team loses. Uh, no big deal first week. But um, enough of that. Let's get into the game. So I'm driving down the field, second 11, hitting it off to Cecil Shorts to get to the two-yard line. And I'm running, trying to run with Toby Gerhardt. Maybe he can power it through. He cannot. We are stuffed. Second and goal, I'm looking. Blake Bortles, get in there, get in there. At oh, Blake Bortles, sit down. He just got destroyed by that. Jets linebacker put on his back, and you guys will see injury report. Um, well, it got overturned, um, my touchdown. But Blake Bortles is out for the game. He didn't even last one drive, guys. Uh, he just got injured at the goal line, and he got smacked. I believe it was broken ribs. Awful, awful injury. Sorry, Blake Bortles. So the first game I used Blake Bortles, he's already out of the game. I'm using some scrub named Morris. Um, the only reason why I have him in instead of Ch uh, Chad Henney, for one, their throwing stats aren't crazy, crazy different. Yes, Morris is a little um, more inaccurate, but um, Chenny has like 70 speed and Morris has like 83. And when you maybe don't have the best offense and maybe the best thrower, uh, a quarterback that can get outside the pocket and convert a first down with his legs can be very valuable when you're at a disadvantage, which I am now, which I, I am at now with my best quarterback out for the game. But um, hopefully we can make do. I know that the Jets' defense is pretty good, um, and I believe I can hold them down with my defense. I believe my defense in this game is pretty decent. So right there, we do hit it out of him with Cyprian. 92 hit power, I believe. Try to stop him now. Third and seven. Can we get a stop? And we do. Let's get it to fourth down. Fourth and two. Can we make this stop? And I leave um, the uh, tight end across the middle of the field. Wide, wide open. Good uh, good read by him. Um, then he does a little drag route to, I believe, Salas. And um, he does convert it. Second and two now. And look at that, guys. He always goes to... Um, it's a short game. You'll see the running back go into the flats, and he'll just hit up that guy every time. Um, so just watch whenever he does that, because he does that a lot during this game, and it was working. I didn't adjust. I wasn't really doing anything for it. So um, um, when you guys see that, just take advantage of it. So um, you guys will see him doing that across uh, uh, many, many times. Right there, it just shows the inaccuracy. I believe he had Michael Vick there. Uh, Michael Vick just straight up overthrows the, um, actually underthrows the drag. Uh, the guy um, he threw way, way behind him. So um. Even though he did make the right read, the guy did have a few steps on him. Um, there, there's um, Madden's accuracy thing. They put a big emphasis on accuracy, and that's exactly um, uh, what was seen there. Uh, everyone knows that Michael Vick uh, will not throw every pass on point. He will not throw a dot like Peyton Manning does. Michael Vick is inaccurate, and um, they traded that. They traded it that way in the game, which I really like about this game. So, um, kind of a bad break for him. Uh, a very, very lucky break for me. But, uh, nevertheless, he does have to get back on defense to kind of shake it off. But I got all the momentum. Um, I just stopped him. Uh, technically, I stopped him. Uh, we got a touchdown before, and we're already in his territory. So, at the 37 now, second, uh, first and 10, um, I believe that's um, Todman maybe in the game. Uh, gets three yards. Second and seven now. I'm looking at the pocket with Morris, and I'm trying to get out, but um, the pocket was uh, closing in too fast, and I couldn't. Uh, third and 19. Can we convert? It, and I find Seashell shorts across the middle of the field all the way to the 30, even though um, that is not um, a first down. It is field goal range for Scoby, who can kick it from like 35. So um, we do go up two possessions, 10-0, with uh, three minutes left in the third quarter. So I'm 
feeling very, very good, and um, hopefully we can stop him again. Right there, I thought we could have gotten the pick, but the computer chooses to swat it instead. Right there, he goes to his um, running back again in the flats, and we do big hit him, but um, he does come back in the game. Then I leave the middle wide, wide open. That is my spot when I use the middle linebacker, so um, I should have been covering it. Right there, um, I thought he wouldn't have held that on in, car in, car in, in traffic, sorry. Um, and I missed the ball hawk again, but we do get him to let it go. Third and four now, and he fumbles, and Sanderic Marks picks it up and starts running with it, getting to the 36-yard line. I want to pit put this guy away. Right there, Morris um, got hit while he was throwing, so it wasn't accurate. Uh, counter run with Todman again, trying to hit the outside, only get a few yards, um, almost at the first down. Third and five now, can we convert? No one's open. And I find Cecil Shorts on the um, play action in. So uh, we do convert and um, get it to a first and 10 at the 20. Uh, do a drag route to the tight end. Get a six yards, second and four. Get wrapped up in the backfield by Sheldon Richardson, I believe. Third and seven. And I... <sighs> Oh my gosh. Um, Mercedes Lewis and the other guy were going in the same direction. So when I threw it to Mercedes Lewis, um, the cornerback covering the wide receiver was in that general area. And he had the awareness to turn back and intercept it. So a bad read by me. And uh, just like you guys see in a lot of my gameplays, I have a tendency of letting people back in the game when they really shouldn't be. Um, I should probably be up 13 and 17 nothing, uh, But instead, I make a boneheaded move, throw an interception, and um, give him back the ball and give him some momentum. So... Uh, as you guys have seen in my gameplays this year, I do that a lot. Um, I'll throw interceptions at the worst time, right when I'm going to put somebody out of the game and possibly just break their spirit to make them quit. Um, I'll just leave the door wide open for them to come back. You guys know how it is. But um, nevertheless, I do have to play. Um, I do have the luxury of having a two-possession lead, but um, that's nothing to sleep on. Uh, knowing Madden, uh, anything's possible. I can fumble any play. I can make a bad read any play, as you guys have seen. Um, an onside can happen. Uh, I can just overthrow a pass, you know? It's stuff like that that um, makes Madden really unpredictable. Uh, you're never out until the clock reads 0, zero, zero. Um, There's always a chance for you. I know I've made incredible comebacks. I know I've let incredible comebacks happen. But um, it is fourth and down, fourth down now. And once again, I get bailed out. This guy just straight up drops the um, drag route. My guy was like a few steps behind him. Easy first down. And his tight end just straight up drops it. I did not touch him. He just drops it. Bounces off his hands like stone hands. So, um, <laughs> again, uh, it's kind of hard to watch uh, knowing that this man probably shouldn't be at zero points right now. Seeing how Michael Vick overthrew a fourth down pass and um, his guy just straight up dropped it. But, um, you know, I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. A lot of times, BS goes uh, not my way, so it's good to have it my way once. But uh, with zero seconds left, I just wanted to do some passes. This is still early in the game. I just wanted to get as many plays as I could in just to get a feel of it. But um, we do end up winning without Blake Bortles. Morris steps up to the plate, and we do win. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Case Onus, and I will see you guys later.